With a four-story, 200,000-gallon glass tank with a giant coral reef inside it, the New England Aquarium is a must-visit in Boston, Massachusetts. Come with us to check out lionfish, penguins, sea lions, jellyfish, and more. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. The aquarium is located on the downtown waterfront, and you can get tickets online or in person. Once inside, there's a map that you can take a photo of or use the QR code for reference. Otherwise, this is pretty simple. There's a giant glass tank you can see with a spiraling walkway and a series of exhibits you can see by an outer perimeter walkway. Let's check out the exhibits first. As soon as you enter, you're gonna see some penguins. There's two types here, the African and the rockhopper, a number about 60 total. The rockhoppers look like me in the morning with their bedhead hairdos. The African penguins make a sound similar to a donkey's bray. These are some elephant nose fish in the ancient fish section. They kind of look like needle nose pliers in a way. It's how they communicate and navigate. This is the Indo-Pacific coral reef section. The colors on these fish, man. Here you'll see tons of tomato clownfish, long-nosed butterfly fish, and orange unicorn fish. I came back here a few times. To be honest, this place is very small and crowded at certain exhibits, so it doesn't hurt to revisit a spot again. These are the weedy sea dragons. Apparently when they're moving about like this, they're looking to mate. These are the jellyfish, or sea jellies, since they aren't technically fish. Always love seeing these in aquariums. Probably the coolest looking fish here, the lionfish. Their spines are venomous and their camouflage makes it easy for them to eat prey, which they swallow whole. This is the Amazon section, which of course means piranha. As you may or may not know, piranha are not as ferocious as they're usually depicted. These are some pretty fish. This is an electric eel, which is not something I think I want to encounter, especially since it can generate up to 600 volts. These are Atlantic salmon, an important species in New England because they bridge both salt and freshwater ecosystems. Speaking of an important New England species, this is an American lobster. <laughs> okay, this is an American lobster in the aquarium. For those wondering, they do have sustainable seafood on the cafe aquarium menu. Next, let's check out the giant ocean tank, the main feature of the New England Aquarium. At 200,000 gallons of water with a large Caribbean reef inside, the giant ocean tank was built first and the rest of the aquarium was then built around it. It features over 100 varieties of fish, stingrays, eels, and more. Everything is so colorful in there. You can walk up a spiral stairway all the way to the top. The top itself is pretty cool too. Lastly, let's head outside on the main level to see the sea lions. Sea lions remind me a lot like dogs. Just chillin'. The kids I saw visiting love this area. I'm guessing that spraying water tastes better? Last but not least, there's a gift shop you can walk through to exit the aquarium. That's a joke for the adults. Have you ever been to the New England Aquarium? It's small, but designed really well and has really cool exhibits. We'll see you on the trails or in the water.